It's uh, Jalusha, I live on 16 Woolley Avenue. Mr. And, Bush, you could raise the mic a little bit. Okay. Just up there. And uh, I'd like to talk to Mr. Pallone about uh, uh, what's going on about it. If, are we going to get speed bumps? It's a 25 mile an hour road. These people go down there about 40 miles an hour. I, li I live on that road. I've been there 29 years. These people are crazy. I've almost got hit a couple times taking my garbage out. They come right past you. They give you the finger if you tell them to slow down. I've got bottles thrown at me. And, uh, you know, something's got to be done. You got to put uh, speed bumps down. The police that come there, I won't tell you who, but they come there with no speed guns. I don't know how you can give anybody a ticket without a speed gun. Um, and also, uh, you know, it's, it's dangerous. Somebody's going to get hurt badly because what they do is they come from West End Road and they just fly down. They don't look at the people coming from West End Road. And somebody almost got T-boned the other day. And something's going to happen here sooner or later and you're, you're going to get sued. That's what's going to happen. They, they go too fast down there. You know, state police tell you, oh, you can't plow with the speed bumps. Believe me, I worked in a cemetery for 40 years. I plowed with speed bumps. I know how to do it. And um, it's, it's ridiculous. They go too fast. It's way too fast. So, Mr. Lush, I know you, you and I speak on a fairly regular basis. Yeah. Um, Chief Roebuck, I know maybe you could explain you know, what we've done there on Woolley as we've done on some other streets with the digital signs and the reports. And then as I mentioned to you when we last spoke, uh, Mr. Lucia, you know, we had an officer down there at the beginning of the school day for several Oh, I days. see him. I go out and look. Yeah. So, I don't know. Chief, is there anything we can... There's some days I pull up and they won't send them at all. ...speed bumps and why, you know, we've hesitated to do it. Right, because... Not really for them. Um, we're going to take another look at them to see if there's something we can do. It's maybe a speed up or something that we can put in. But we did put the radar sign up there, and the speeds that we caught were not that high. We put somebody <laughs> down there, and the speeds are not that high. Yeah. So we have uh, continued to look at it, but we, we haven't seen anything at, at, at this point. Uh, excuse, <coughs> excuse me, can I say something? That's bull. I live on that road, and they don't, don't go 25 miles an hour. There's no way. Okay. That's no way. That's a lie. Mr. Luciano, I just wanted to get the chief's opinion, but we could continue the conversation here and see what we, you know, see what we could do. Something needs to be done, right. really. It does. I mean, unless you're just going to wait for somebody to get killed. Yeah. Is that, is that what you want to do? Okay. All right? Thanks. I mean, I've been down here. I had, had half the neighborhood's names on, on the paper to come down here and tell them that, that how fast people go. Yeah. And then uh, one guy tells me that they're all going 25. I don't think so. That's, that's, that's Let's continue thing. to talk about it. We can put the sign back down. We can, you know, yeah, they had the sign down there. They had the sign down there, and the lady gave me the finger when she passed the sign when I was looking at the sign. <laughs> they don't care. They don't care. They go for the, if a cop is there, don't slow down. I have to call the police every day. And I'm, I'm, I'm paying the bus.